Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My beloved brothers and sisters, I have with me here Majmu' Rasail al Hafid ibn Rajab al Hanbali, uh, written by Al Imam al Hafid al Faqih al Faraj Abdul Rahman ibn Rajab al Hanbali al Baghdadi thumma al Dimashqi. And the volume I have is, which is, uh, as you can see at the bottom here, it's the fourth volume. And um, it is Maktaba to Awlad al Shaykh lit Turath. Um, basically, this is a compilation of the works of uh, Ibn Rajab al Hanbali, many of his little books that he's written explaining a hadith here and there. And within those books is this uh, famous work of his, which is known as Fadl uh, Ilm Salafi ala al Khalafi, where Ibn Rajab rahimahullah, he clarifies the virtue of the knowledge of the pious predecessors over the knowledge of the latecomers and this book is basically an explanation of the hadith uh, where the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says allahumma inni as'aluka ilman um, am allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa' allahumma inni a'udhu bika min ilmin la yanfa' oh allah i seek refuge in you from knowledge that doesn't benefit you so he's trying to explain what is beneficial knowledge and what is not beneficial knowledge. And he, Rahimahullah uh, Ta'ala, so this is Fadl uh, al Salafi ala ilm al-Khalaf. So there's a statement which he, Rahimahullah, says in this book, which inshallah Ta'ala I haven't put in brackets, which is uh, from here. So I'm going to read it and you can all follow it, inshallah Ta'ala. He says, uh, from here, inshallah Ta'ala, I'm going to read. Uh, up to uh, so I'll read up to there and home okay right up to there from there uh, to there inshallah ta'ala so Ibn Rajab says the following he says وَمِنْ وَمِنْ عَلَامَاتِ ذَلِكَ عَدَمُ قَبُولِ الْحَقِّ وَالْإِنْقِيَادِ إِلَيْهِ والتكبر على من يقول الحق خصوصا إن كان دونهم في أعين الناس والإصرار على الباطل خشية تفرق قلوب الناس عنهم ابن رجب says he's talking about the signs of the knowledge that's not beneficial he says ومن علامات ذلك and from the signs that this knowledge that you've gained is not beneficial is عدم قبول الحق that you don't accept the truth وَالْإِنْقِيَادِ إِلَيْهِ You do not submit to it. وَالْتَكَبُّرِ And you're also arrogant. عَلَى مَنْ يَقُولُ الْحَقَّ The one who says the truth to you. You see, خصوص especially إِنْ كَانَ دُونَهُمْ فِي أَعْيُنِ النَّاسِ Especially if that person is not as high in the eyes of the people. Maybe not as respected as you are. Or he's probably not academic as you are, مثلا. You're not going to accept it from him. وَالْإِسْرَارُ عَلَى الْبَاطِلِ And also being consistent upon the falsehood. Reason why? خَشْيَةَ يُفِيَ تَفَرُّقِ قُلُوبِ النَّاسِ عَنْهُمْ That the people's heart will disperse from you. you people are going to boycott you and going to leave you. So if you speak this, you basically believe that this is going to cause division. It's going to make the people not listen to you. And you may give it nice titles. For example, you might say, oh, that's no hikmah. I shouldn't speak about this or this is not wise for me to say this but you can call it what you what you like and what you desire the truth of the matter is is that your real reason is what you really fear is that the people are not going to follow you or they are not going to admire you because you have told them something that goes against their whims and their desires so this is the benefit which i wanted to share with you inshallah ta'ala uh, I hope you've all benefited from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.